Hey everyone, in this video we will see how we can edit data of a particular employee in our Next.js MySQL Code application. So back in VS Code, here this is my project directory and here first of all we will open a terminal and we will change my directory to Next MySQL and here we will run the command npm run dev which will uh, up my server on localhost. So here you can see my server is up on localhost 3000 and in the browser i will visit localhost 3000 let's wait for some time and here you can see this is our data and now here we want to let's say we want to edit the data of this employee so we will click on this edit button and after we click on that edit button the data of that particular employee should be fetched from the database and it should be filled up in this input fields and after changing the data of that employee we will click on this save button this will save the edited data of that employee in the database and it will be fetched and rendered right here so now in the vs code let's see how we can implement that so here in the component folder open layout.js file And here we will make a state. Here I will write const edit user and we will write set edit user. We will use use a state hook and here we will write ID, email, and username. And now we will use this state in this edit employee model so here in the name input field i will write before class name value equal to edit user dot username and here in the email input field i will write value equal to edit user edit user dot email here if this is password change it to email and now we will call a on change function so i will write on change here we will make a function below the handle delete function i will make a function const handle edit change and here we will destructure the event so i will write target name value and we will use this function and i'll edit change in this on change and we will copy this from here and we will paste it here like so and now in the handle edit change function we will write here we will use that edit user function and here we will spread the edit user state so i will write edit user and here i will write name with value like so and now we will make a function handle edit submit so here I will write handle edit submit this will be an arrow function and here I will accept the event and we will prevent all the default actions and here we will make a variable const request options and it will be an object and here we will, here we will write method put and headers we will pass content type and we will pass application json so i will write application json like so and in the body we will pass json stringify and here we will pass edit user state and now 
here we will make a variable const response and we will use await fetch uh, before that we need to make this function async and in the fetch function we will write the endpoint so i will write http localhost 3000 api users and here we will pass edit user dot id and then we will pass request options and then we will make a variable result and in this variable we will store the response like so and now we will check if there is something in the result then we will call the set alert message function we will copy it from this handle delete function and we will paste it right here and here we will pass the message as user edited successfully like so and now here we will hide the model by clicking on this cancel button so we will select this button uh, we will apply a class edit cancel and we will copy this class from here and here we will write document dot get elements by class name and here we will, we will paste the class and we will select the zeroth element of that array and then we will call click function this will hide the model and after that we will make a variable previous users and we will store the value dot users state in this previous users variable and then we will filter out all the users so here i will write actually we need to filter out all the users from this value dot users state so i will write here dot filter and here we will make a function user and we will return those users whose id is not matching with this edit user id like so and then we will push the recently edited user in this previous users array so i will write previous previous users dot push and here i will write result and then we will call value dot set my users function and here i will pass previous users so this will update the state of users with the data of recently edited user and now below down in the users table component i will pass handle edit change and um, actually yeah we need to pass this function handle edit change we have made earlier right here and here we will pass the function handle edit change and in the users table component uh, there's an error in this file let's see what's the error okay so here we will write now the error has gone mm. okay here we need to make this function as async and the edit submit and we will use this function in the edit employee model as when anyone submit this form so we will call handle edit submit function like so and now from the user stable component we will pass this handle edit change function 
we will destructure that function here handle edit change and we will pass this function in the user component so i will write here handle edit change and we will pass this function and now in the user component we will destructure that function right here like so and we will call on click function right here and here we will call that handle edit change function uh, actually here we will call fetch user function and here we will pass user id and here we will make a function fetch user so i will write const fetch user and here i will accept user id and here we will make this function as a sync and we will make a variable const response and we will use a wait keyword with patch api here we will write the endpoint so i will write http localhost 3000 api users and here we will pass user id and this will fetch the user whose id is matching with this user id and then we will store the result in this result variable and here we will use await keyword with response dot json method and then here we will use handle edit change function and we will set the edit user uh, actually we need to pass the edit set edit user function so i will write here this function we will pass this function set edit user so in the user table we will write set edit user and here also set edit user here set edit user now this will update the state of edit user and thus the value of these input fields will also be updated with the data of that user whose id is matching with this user id and then after editing the data of that user we will click on this submit button and this will submit this form and on submitting the form it will call this handle edit submit function we have declared right here and we will prevent all the default actions of that form and then we will uh, send a put request on this endpoint with the edit user id this will update the data of that user with the edit user state and then it will send a response which will be stored in this result variable and here we are calling the set alert message function uh, it will show the alert with this message user edited successfully and we are hiding the model with this uh, edit cancel click function and then we are updating the state of users now let's see in the browser we will refresh the page and here we will click on this edit button uh, here you can see we have an error json parse at line one here we need to append this forward slash and here also now let's refresh the page now click on this edit button and here you can see the data of that employee is fetched from the database and it is showing up right here in these two input fields now let's edit its username so after editing the username i will click on this save button and here you can see it is showing me user edited successfully 
here you can see we have the edited data of that particular employee showing up right here now let's refresh the page here you can see we have the edited data of that employee now let's edit the data of this employee so i will click on this edit button and here i will write world hello and i will click on this save button here you can see the data of that employee is edited now so it means the edit user functionality is working correctly now in the next video we will see how to implement the multiple delete functionality so that we can delete multiple users right at once so that's all for this video guys meet you in the next video thank you